L3, L4 in the L drone message. So I encourage you to have done the stretch first. So we have a little video for the warm up and make sure that you've done that before you do this video. So if you look at the spine, the base of the spine, which is that triangular or diamond shaped flat bone, above that you'll feel a little divot and then a bone and then a little divot and that's where we're working so it's low in the back okay and you're going to try to create space between the two bones which is your lumbar vertebrae the third one and the fourth lumbar vertebrae so the heels come together the legs are in a diamond shaped position you're going to supinate your feet which means you're turning them out and then the toes are pulling back towards you. So you're gonna press the knees down, you're gonna sit tall onto your sit bones and tuck the tail ever so slightly under so that it already feels like you're pulling into the low back. Belly button comes back, ribs are above the pelvis, so you're gonna lift your ribs up off of your pelvis, keep pulling toes back, keep pressing knees down, you're going to draw the chin back so that the back of the skull is in line with the spine. You're long in the back of the neck and the throat is gently pressing to the back of the neck. The crown of the head reaches up. Think like a helium balloon and your head is being lifted up towards the ceiling as the sit bones are pressing down into the ground. You're going to take the arms out in front of the chest. You're going to externally rotate the arm bone, extend at the wrist. You're reaching out from the heel of the palm and pulling back in the shoulder here. Both arms, pinky fingers should be parallel towards one another. You're going to take one arm up by your ear and then take the second arm up by your ear. Both arms are up by your ears, trying to keep the arms back. Chin is down and back, you're long in the back of the neck, the gaze is down. Gaze is down either at the end of your mat or down by your heels. Keep pressing down from the sit bones, reaching up from the crown of the head. I've mentioned this in previous videos, if you feel like you're too rounded in the spine, use a block underneath your sit bones until you perfect the elbow and you can take the block out or use a wall to create the feedback to know what it means for your spine to be straight. Keep pressing down with the sit bones, reaching up from the crown of the head. Press the sit bones down, reach up from the crown of the head, lift your ribs up off your pelvis, press your knees down. Pull your toes back, supinate the feet, externally rotate the arm bones, reach up up from the heels of the palms, press the knees down, lift your ribs up, press your knees down, lift your ribs up, press your knees down, lift your ribs up, press the sit bones down, reach the crown of the head up, keep externally rotating the arm bones, extend at the wrists, spread the fingers wide, gaze is soft, breath is steady, continuous, Abdominals are relaxed, you're pressing the sit bones, reaching out from the crown of the head, feel for the space in your low spine being released. The more you tuck, the more you press the sit bones down, the more you lift the ribs off the pelvis and reach the crown of the head up to the ceiling, the more you'll feel the separation. We're going to hold this for 12. Keep reaching out from the crown of the head. Reaching up from the heels of the palms. We've got nine seconds to go. Seven seconds to go. Keep pulling the toes back, pressing the knees down. And four, three, two. Keep the spine really long, creating that axial tension in the spine and start to release the arms down. Place the feet flat, draw the knees in, relax the legs and then relax your spine. Good. That completes L3, L4. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I've got tons of other great videos for you, so don't forget to click subscribe.